Let's take a look at maps and scale drawings. Most of these questions are calculator questions. Um, I'll let you know which questions you can't use a calculator for. Question one, no calculator. So we know the scale is one centimeter equals 100 meters. So if the distance between A and B is 3.8 centimeters, what does that mean in terms of meters in real life? Well, if one is 100, then 3.8 is gonna be 3.8 multiplied by 100 and 3.8 multiplied by 100. I just put some zeros to the right. Um, I've not changed the value of the number, but it just it makes it easier to move the decimal point to two positions. One, two, so that is 380 meters. Question number two, um, so we can use the calculator. We know that one centimeter equals 250 meters. So how many centimeters equals 800 meters? So what we need to do is work out what we multiply 250 by to turn it into an 800. Now, that's quite challenging. So we need to work this backwards. 250 times what equals 800 is gonna be the same as well. What is 800 divided by 250? And 800 divided by 250 is 3.2. So on the right-hand side of this ratio, we're, in, we're multiplying by 3.2. So if one centimeter is 250, then 800 meters is gonna be the same as one times 3.2 centimeters which is simply 3.2 centimetres. In question number three, we can see it's a distance of nine centimetres. So if one centimetre equals 400 metres, then nine centimetres equals nine times 400. You can use a calculator if you want, but that's 3,600 metres. We need to give an answer in kilometres, which means we need to divide this number by 1,000 uh, because there's 1,000 metres in a kilometre. I'm gonna put a point zero because when we're dividing by 1,000, we are gonna be moving the decimal point three positions to the left, because we wanna make the number smaller, one, two, three. So it's gonna sit between the three and the six. So the answer is 3.6 kilometers. So in question number five, we know the scale is one to 500,000. So if we're taking a measurement of 11.2 centimeters, then that's gonna to correspond to 500,000 times 11.2 centimeters in real life. And 500,000 times 11.2 is 5,600,000 centimeters. Now that's not a sensible way of measuring a distance between Liverpool and Manchester. I would expect to give an answer in kilometers and the question does say in kilometers. So if this is centimeters, let's turn it into meters by dividing by 100, which is chopping off two zeros. And now let's turn it into kilometers by dividing by 1000, which is the same as chopping off three zeros. So the answer is 56 kilometers. Question number five, we can see that each square is 320 kilometers long. So one, two, three, four, five. So we need to do five times 320. We can use a calculator that comes to 1600 kilometers. Question number six, each square is 500. Um, we, we're not allowed to use a calculator, which is fine because 500 miles is a nice amount. Let's count the squares between Tehran and Tokyo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times 500, well, eight times five is 40. So eight times 500 is going to be 40 with two more zeros. So that's 4,000 miles. Question number seven, we're told, we, we've been told that the drawing has a scale of one to 0 0.20. We don't really need that zero on the end. So one, um, so what that means is one centimeter on the picture represents 0 0.2 centimeters in real life, or one millimeter on the picture represents 0 0.2 millimeters in real life. Now the measurement of the picture of the ant is 2.7. So to go from a one to a 2.7, we're multiplying by 2.7. So we therefore need to multiply the 0 0.2 by 2.7 and 0 0.2 times by 2.7 is 0 0.54. So 2.7 centimeters on the picture represents 0 0.54 centimeters in real life. And we need to give the answer in millimeters. There's 10 millimeters in a centimeter 
So we want to multiply this by 10, so it's 5.4 millimeters. Question number eight, we need to uh, describe the position of Jordansville from Rapkush in terms of distance and bearing. So the distance is, well, in terms of centimeters, it's four centimeters. And the scale is one centimeter equals 30 kilometers. So if one centimeter equals 30 centimeters, then four centimeters equals four lots of 30 kilometers. And that comes to a total of 120 kilometers. So uh, Jordansville is 120 kilometers from Rapkush and what is the bearing? Now, what we need to do is measure the, uh, well, the angle we are measuring is this angle here because this is the bearing of Jordansville from Rapkush. Um, now, if you're using a protractor, you might only have a, 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 a protractor which goes up to 180 degrees, in which case what you could do is just draw a line here, extending that north line down southwards. We know that this is 180 degrees here and now you just need to measure this angle here. Alternatively, what you could do is um, instead of working out the bearing of Jordansville from Rapkush, work out the bearing of Rapkush from Jordansville and then either add or subtract 180 degrees. So what I would do here is I would just measure, put my protractor here and measure so imagine you know here's your protractor so you're measuring this angle here and this angle here is 45 degrees um, so I did say that if this angle here is 40 well this angle here is the bearing of Rapkush from Jordansville so the bearing of Jordansville from Rapkush is this plus or minus 180 here it makes more sense to add 180 and 45 plus 180 is 225 degrees so this angle here is 225 degrees and that's the bearing of Jordansville from Rapkush.